Hi, uh, my name is Andrew, and this is uh, like a super, super, super rough um, kind of little demonstration of what my uh, toy concept would look like in a more physical space. Now, unfortunately, I am not a physical or electrical engineer, um, and I don't have the resources or time to design something like this from scratch or meddle with an existing thing enough. But I did want to just kind of like give a bit more of a physical idea of what this kind of thing might look like. So I've got here what is effectively a normal off-the-shelf RC car. You can see, you know, it, it drives around as you would expect. Seems pretty run-of-the-mill. So my idea is to kind of make something or or have something like this where it looks by all accounts, pretty normal, you know, you've got your little remote here with the two sticks, you know, one of them goes forward and back, and the other one goes side to side, and you've got your car, and it looks relatively normal, you know, maybe in an ideal world it would look a little less supercar and a little more everyday car, but this is what I had available to me. And as you can see, you know, when I press the stick up, it goes forward, and when I press it back, it goes back, and more importantly, if I turn, if I hold right, it turns right. If I hold left, it turns left. So what I would want to do is kind of mix this control scheme up. You know, make, have this be exactly how it looks and change what these controls do, basically. So have it be where right would go left and left would go right. And you could control the speed, like forward and backward but that it would turn in like a random direction. Like if you held forward, it might go right, it might go left, it might go straight, you really don't know. And I kind of want to get the player to think about, you know, it's, it's this RC car, it's relatively harmless, but I want to get them to think about, okay, well, how do, how does, how do things change when the controls don't match what everyone else thinks they should be or how you know how do you deal with not having typical control over your life of having to put in extra effort to make sure that you um that you can get through the same challenges and the same daily routine that everyone else can you know right now i'm driving around this car with relative ease I don't really have to think about it too hard, but if the controls were suddenly reversed, where turning the wrong, you know, turning would make me go the wrong direction, and sometimes when I held forward it would turn regardless of what I'm doing, that, that kind of thing really would, would make it difficult. It would, it would put a roadblock in the way, uh, no pun intended, and I think it would really drive home the concept that I'm trying to get, to get at with my my game itself driven is that like sometimes people don't do what's obvious simply because they operate in a different way you know it's and our society has kind of positioned itself in a way that people who think differently or act differently are not looked at with the same respect and the same due diligence that everyone else is so i really i really do think that this this kind of idea would would be a way to succinctly bottle that feeling you know, bottle the feeling that the main character ian is feeling of not really being able to be in traditional control of his life like everyone else and you know that frustration that you might feel or that you know you might feel it's worth the challenge to overcome this obstacle it, it really kind of gives you the wealth of points of view that you can get out of, um, out of having someone in your life dealing with this stuff, whether it's you or whether it's a loved one or a friend. Um, it really kind of gives you that idea of what, might, what it might be like to operate with non-standard controls, to put it in a very clinical way. Um, so yeah, that's that's my idea. I wish I had more time, resources, expertise to 
make this a reality and not just play around with the existing RC car that I got at a store. Um, but I think with for for the time we have and the resources I've got, this is about as uh, about as good as we're gonna get. So thank you for watching. <laughs>